Welcome everyone and in this video I am going to discuss about a very important name reaction and uh, a problem problem related to it which came in uh, gate exam 2014 okay and many question on this particular name reaction also comes in your CSM exam so the pro uh, reaction is nothing but the barton macombi reaction and uh, this is the problem you can see so this compound is deoxygenated and this options are given this four options and you have to choose which is the right answer and as i uh, introduced the video by saying about the barton macombi reaction you will be able to uh, say that did this barton macombi condition is the right answer but if you don't know then how will you do so before discussing about this particular problem i want to discuss about uh, my own research problem because this particular name reaction is very important to me uh, as i had to pick up this uh, reaction for my own research problem so i will not discuss about my research what is my doing what what, what am i doing but uh, this is one of the step one of the important step of my uh, total synthesis of a compound and you can see this step is the deoxygenation of the center to this so i i am removing this oh to uh, get this deoxygenated uh, carbon now uh, I made this from D galactose. You can see. So this is one of the step of my reaction. And uh, the normal deoxygenation reactions which are used is so let's say we have any alcohol and we want want to deoxygenate this particular center. So what we do? We generally first uh, convert this alcohol to some good leaving group. Like we can fit it with methyl chloride or tosyl chloride so if we react it with tosyl chloride we will get ROTS and then if we react it with say lithium aluminium hydride or sodium borohydride uh, that uh, condition varies from one reaction to one reaction your hydride will attack here and you will get this deoxygenated compound and we also picked up the strategy for our uh, synthesis that is we converted this to OTS as well as OMS that is misylate but when we uh, attempt to uh, reduce this with uh, LAH the reaction doesn't work and we find in the literature that this particular method is only good for uh, SN, SN2 type uh, this is actually SN2 reaction and this is only good for your primary substrate that is when your uh, OH group is primary then this is good because it is nothing but a SN2 reaction and you know that SN2 reaction on primary substrate is good but why we tried this because the barton macombi reaction which is good for secondary reaction and uh, I forgot to mention that barton macombi reaction is a radical reaction it is very good for any secondary substrate uh, for deoxygenation but we choose this particular case because uh, that barton macombi reaction as I will show you uh, use some of the reagents that are not good for us so this is very simple tosylation reduction uh, misylation reduction these are very simple technique we don't have to use um, carcinogenic substance uh, toxic reagents right so this this is why we tried this but when it was failed we we was forced to choose the barton macombi reaction and this is nothing but number one condition is uh, sodium hydride carbon disulfide and methyl iodide this is step one and out of it so by step one you will get this uh, here you will get uh, o o c s s m e how this reaction occurs i will explain but you get this xanthate ester now on this xanthate ester when you uh, did a i b n and BU3SNA that is tributyl tin hydride you reduce this center and get this okay so this is the these two reaction conditions they are uh, called part of macombi reaction and now i will this so so uh, there is a problem in this reaction also now when we did this reaction we find that this works fine that this this center was deoxygenated but this center was also deoxygenated right we get uh, two hydrogen groups here that is our sph group gone and why this is occurring i will discuss after discussing the mechanism of the reaction so what is the mechanism of barton macombi reaction 
now as i said the reaction start with your alcohol so let's say you have a simple alcohol like this i am not bothering about secondary or primary i am just taking a simple alcohol so when you re react it with sodium hydride in thf i am uh, writing all the reaction conditions because i did this reaction by my own right so this is the reaction condition first you will get o minus and this is uh, like three hour reaction three hour you have to put your uh, reagent uh, your starting material your sodium hydrate and thf uh, with heating uh, with 80 degree centigrade uh, for three hours you will get this o minus then you have to add carbon disulfide so carbon disulfide is like this sorry and this o minus will attack here to generate this so o cs s minus now again after 30 minutes after adding carbon disulfide you have to wait for 30 minutes and then you will add methyl iodide so methyl iodide so you know carbon dioxide carbon disulfide is a very smelling compound so this is one of the bad uh, one of the reason which we don't want to use that then it will attack on methyl to methyl at it so you will get this xanthate ester so this is how you get this xanthate ester and in this state this methyl iodide which is a very bad reagent that is any alkylating agent like methyl iodide or other they are carcinogenic because it can uh, it, it, it uh, you touch the reagent your uh, skin will be damaged you can you can have cancer this is carcinogenic substance because it will react with your uh, body and uh, alkylate your uh, um, reactive parts in your skin right so this is very uh, dangerous and you have to use it carefully so after that we uh, can get the xanthate ester and this is a stable molecule these xanthate esters are stable at least in our case it is it was stable so we characterize this compound with nmr and mass spectroscopy then in the second step we use aibn and bu3 snh so aibn is azo isobutyl nitrile this is your aibn azo isobutyl nitrile so it when you heat this it will generate a radical so you get nitrogen gas and two of these radicals cyanide this radical so this is radical initiator in this reaction and what it will do so it will basically so first at first step what can happen is that so you have bu3 snh this is your bu3 snh so this is uh, i can write it fully so this is your sn this is your butyl groups okay and this is hydride now your radical generated from EIB and it can abstract this hydrogen and you have this BU3SN radical right so this radical you have now once you generate this radical what it will do this radical this SN dot BU3 it can attack on this sulfur and that will indeed uh, move this arrow here and you are getting this alkyl alkyl radical plus your S SN BU3 SME. Now this what this alkyl alkyl radical can do? It can uh, so either it can take hydride from other BU3 SN molecule and form BU uh, SN radical. So this this SN BU3 radical can generate again and out of this you get this reduced compound where you have you, you deoxygenate the center you are adding hydrogen instead of OH so this is your product or this R dot R dot radical it can also attack on the other molecules of like let's say you have this type of uh, these molecules in your medium so it can attack sorry this will not occur uh, as I'm wrong because this is not occur because we used this BU3 SNH in excess. This is around three equivalent. So there are more molecules of BU3 SNH than this molecule, and all the R dot will attack on this hydride, and you will be getting this. So this is a radical chain reaction, and out of that you will always generating this BU3 SN dot that will attack on another molecule of this, 
and that's how you get this uh, your reduced product so this is the mechanism of the barton macombi reaction now what was the problem with our substrate so uh, if i draw my my, uh, my molecule again you will be see that there is a salt sph group and here you have this uh, acetonide protection now you have your uh, ester the anthene ester here so in the radical reaction what is happening that this sn dot bu3 this radical is attacking this sulfur that means that means uh, any ra radical can attack on sulfur sulfur is a soft center that's why radical will attack on sulfur first and if you have if you had oxygen here let's say you uh, react it to react the o minus with carbon dioxide and you get this normal anhydride type normal ester type right so instead of sulfur you if you have this compound or if you if even you have sulfur here but if you get uh, this type of compound then this attack will not occur because the radical will not attack on oxygen which is a hard center this osn bond is not strong out of this reaction what you will get you will get asme here and here you have o sn bu3 sorry this this you will get but this oxygen silicon bond a uh, oxygen tin bond is not strong and that's why this tin will not attack on oxygen so we had to uh, convert it to this xanthan ester now you can see there is a also a sulfur and your zen uh, bu3 sn dot can also attack this sulfur because it is a soft center so it will uh, generate this B, bu3 sn sph and a dot will be generated here and further it can take hydride from bu3 sn so that's why this center is also hydrogenated and you reduce your anomeric position and we didn't want that we had to keep this uh, group protecting group here so instead uh, using sph we sort out the problem by using omp group omp group is paramethoxyphenol group so this is how we sort out our problem right so uh, by this uh, problem you you have seen that uh, first of all for uh, reducing any secondary center to deoxygenate any secondary center always barton macombi reaction is a very good option and also you have to make sure that your compound doesn't have any sensitive reagent which is uh, sensitive to your barton macombi condition like uh, sph group or other so in your problem you can see same type of uh, carbohydrate derivative is given and you will uh, definitely say that you have to choose this part of macombi condition over other because it is also a secondary con secondary uh, alcohol so i hope this video is helpful for you and if you like the video then uh, give a thumbs up and share this with your friends so thank you for watching